Hey guys, a uh, random American from the future here, but still the past, because I've already recorded it and you're watching it. Anyway, uh, just finished up today's episode. It was, we got, we got stuff done, okay? I did some real redneck stuff because I couldn't find parts, and then I found the parts, and I'm just not going to worry about it right now. But anyway, we got a bunch of stuff done, uh, got a bunch of stuff cleaned up. Getting real, real, real close to starting this thing. Uh, I'm not going to tell you if we're starting at this episode or not, so stick around. Uh, and if you like what you see here, then go ahead and give her a like, or at the very least, just keep watching the video. So, I'll see you here in, in the past. Past. <laughs> Ratchet strap's probably happy to know that that's that the cross member's going in. Oh, that's too heavy to do like that. Oh, I'm gonna get wet first thing in the morning. I bet I should seal this up. Damn it. Yeah, let me do that. Let me get some brake clean and some Ooh, silicone. Okay, so my idea, as dangerous as that sounds, is I have an exhaust, I have exhaust studs from my headers. If these thread into here, I can use one or two of them for lining it up. That and I lost some of the bolts. So, you know, there's that. Oh, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, silicone. Oh, it's getting everywhere. Uh-oh. Damn. I didn't land it yet, but I'm going to. Just know it. There we go. Just like it never happened. So runny. It works good, but damn, it runs. All right, that's gonna be good enough. Do that one to the next one. Okay. Okay. I guess all the bolts are lost. Wasn't before it is now. Okay. Uh, here, get that bolt in. Okay, that's in. Now I hope this is gonna be simple. Oh, please be easy. Uh, might wanna put that in neutral.
be correct but it's what I did oh, beautiful god that's so bad oh, okay that's gonna get changed just oh where's my other strap just not today This is my Tejas cross member, which everybody says is the biggest, best, and greatest. So we're gonna use this one. It comes not uh, painted, so you can go ahead and throw whatever paint on you want. Let me see if I can get a hole in up here, or a bolt in up here, because it might line up with that center hole on the cross member. And I'll see about putting a lady slipper in that one over there. Ah. I didn't squint. Fuck. You know, that's not rust. That's greasy mud. Okay. Let me see if those will tighten up correctly. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this lady slipper out and let this relax over here, drill my holes on the left side drill my holes on this left side and then I'll put the lady slipper back in and drill my holes over here sound like a plan yeah I thought so Ooh, it's starting to warm up that's nice <laughs> Oh, like butter. 
<sighs> okay. Cross member is in. Check. Lower the jack down. AKA lower the truck down. So that means drive shaft is, well drive shaft's good. I'm gonna check the clearance on my front drive shaft because it's awful close over here. But maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. If I have to grind away on this a little bit, I will. But I'll let Tejas know if I do. Next, we're going to go over here and uh, finish up the fuel tank. Because it still needs its front mount. It still needs its bushings. <coughs> Simple stuff. Might need to go and drill some rivets out because I think he's a riveted in. But I got the new sh tank straps in because there's no way I was gonna try and keep using these ones. There you go. All right. Bolted. Okay, these ones are bolted. So this one's probably already been replaced. It just didn't last for whatever reason. Okay, so we're going to try and do the right things with the wrong tools. Mm. That felt good. Figure all these are going to be that. Oh, yeah. Started to break. Oh, yeah, this is breaking bigger than hell. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Well, there's one off painlessly. Well, here's the deal. I don't know what I did with the tank straps that I bought. So, I wasn't kidding. I'm going to strap it in. I'm gonna find them in four seconds. But, that's okay. I'm gonna go get the rubber to insulate that though. I do have that. All right, so I got some of this uh, two inch wide, eighth inch thick rubber. It apparently has adhesive on it. No, that's just something. Okay. Get this up and in there. Yeah. That'll work real nice. Stuff seems a little extra soft. I don't know if that's good or bad. But it is what it is. No, I'm not kidding. I am so sick of this thing. But I need to get it done. <sighs> All right. Now, I got my tank straps in. <clears throat> Go ahead and throw this in here. Get it bolted up. Move on. Well, it's a lot more redneck than I really wanted it to be, but like I said, I'm tired of working on this thing. I'll go ahead and get my uh, filler and vent hooked up. I'll get my uh, fuel regulator hooked up. I need to buff behind that bolt uh, to get it to ground. And then I need to hook up my ground for my sending unit and hook up my sending unit wire. And from there, we're just going to move on forward. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and put the bolts in the power transfer distribution jar. Okay. And like most things on this here project, it's getting blue Loctite. Alright, one bolt partially in. They are officially connected and I can stop.
we're getting there. Okay. Okay. All right. They're all tight. Okay, so here's where we're sitting, where we are sitting, just before I go and eat some lunch. Uh, got my power steering lines up to my brake booster in, and from the brake booster to where the uh, power steering pump's about to go, sitting there. Now, I bought these adapters as a pair off eBay. I don't think I'm going to need this one, because that's just a return. So I'm pretty sure I can use this to my... Uh, cooler and all that and how I'm going to run all that. So that one might not get used, but like I said, we're about to put the water pump on and the power steering pump and alternate everything on the front of the engine. We're going to put that on and then we'll do the radiator. Alright, now that I have my proper hydration, which is an energy drink, I have all of my loom, and I stole my wife's kitchen shears, which she doesn't watch us anyway, so it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get the wrapping. Well, I don't know exactly where I lost you, but my phone overheated and died. I got all of my wire loom done. I started on my gauges, went to go and put in the oil pressure sensor there all the way in the back. That was not fun. As you can see, I had to take the intake off, had to get a 27mm socket, had to bust the top of it off to uh, get it turned out of there. Man, was it tight. But, it's out. The adapter, oh, the adapter is in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run my oil pressure sensor line down through. And then maybe put the intake back on. Man, I'm running out of steam. I need to get some more of them air energy drinks. But, uh, yeah, just... Yeah, keep on going. Man, got metal in my arm. This has been a day. The oil pressure sensor is connected. The coolant temp sensor is connected. All of my pink wires are connected to my coil wire. I don't know how safe this is, but you know we're we're there. And then my orange wires are connected to constant 12 volt. Uh oh. This is just a mock-up of how the dash is going to look for right now. Uh, I'm just using gauges that I have. They don't fit quite all the way through, but it's just enough to hold them in there. But I'm just going to run small pod gauges. I'll put fuel over here. My tack is going to have to go back on the steering column for right now. As you can see, it's way too small for that. Uh, my speedometer is shipping from China. And it hasn't even hit the country yet, and I ordered it like two weeks ago. So, we'll see. Uh, I have this stuff to go through now, and I have to mount my fuse box up. So, as of right now, I know I look like a mess, but as of right now, the only thing I have left is the 
stuff on the dash has to be done. I have to figure out which of these wires I'm not using and cut them and kind of just keep them out of the way. I'm not going to get rid of them completely in case I want to use them for something else later. Uh, I have to get the fuse box done. Well, not really done, but I have to get it mounted somewhere. Uh, I need to get the ECM. Oh, I need to get the ECM put in here. Uh, bolted up. I'm just going to do a real simple straps and bolted and call it good enough. Uh, my throttle pedal. As you can see, it's not very throttle pedally right now. Uh, I have a Tejas mount coming for it, so that'll probably be here next week. I still have to put my uh, radiator and all that on, but we're coming down to the wire. Uh, my, my headers are going to be here in just a few days. Once the headers are here, once the headers are here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them in, connect my O2 sensors. Uh, I need to I need to get my transmission lines and insulate them somehow so I don't rub a hole clean through them. This stuff right here, I'll probably wire loom at some point. I don't know if I'm going to do it right now. Uh, one of the last things I have to do is I'm going to connect... Oh, oh, oh. I'll connect from my factory shifter down to the down to the transmission itself. So that's exciting. But really with any luck we're going to be starting next week. Hopefully, maybe later this week, but I highly doubt it. I won't get off work early enough and it gets dark too early. So but I'm going to wrap it up for the night. Hopefully, I'll get all my tools picked up so I can actually go to work tomorrow and, you know, do something. So, yeah, see you then. Alrighty, while I have three seconds of daylight left, I'm going to go ahead and throw the radiator in here. I can't find my transmission and cooler line fittings, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and get it done anyways. It almost fits like it's made for it. I mean, it's not. Man, it do look good. Oh yeah. A couple self tappers or zip ties, probably self tappers. And this thing will be ready for Broadway. Word of the wise, if you want your radiator hoses to stay on, get the right ones and don't use WD-40 on them. This is going to come back and bite me. Come on. So, up in here looks a bit different because I cut all this out. Uh, I have my wires that are hot and I have my wires that are not a hell of a lot. Sitting up there. Uh, down in here I have these which are my turn signals and all that all hooked up. 
So right here, all my pink wires going into a keyed on, which is in here, which is this pink wire right here. It is a coil connection. This is my orange wires coming into a constant 12 volt. I don't have it hooked up yet. I have every one of my grounds hooked up into a single uh, two battery ground bus bar. And in here, I cleaned this up quite a bit. Uh, I, same thing as under the hood. I cut a whole bunch of shit out of here. I still have to mount my fuse box. Uh, I still need to hook up a couple of wires. So I got some of these sorted into what I do need, what I don't need, and what I'll need eventually. So these are all things that I do need right now. Uh, like brake switch. Um, power outlet, fuel gauge, and then two powers for my cluster themselves. Uh, let me see. I got to put my light switch in. I have this halfway mocked up and on the subject of right here. So I did, I, I, I did that right, right? <clears throat> There's my tank straps. So, those are going to go on, just not right now. So, that's going to wrap it up for this here episode. Thank you guys for joining me on this. Uh, next episode, I'm starting it. Saying it now, going to happen. So, it'll be started next time. And I don't know if it'll be driving, but, you know, it's starting to do the boom boom. So, yeah. I do want to thank my most recent subscriber as of right now. Uh... He laid a comment in the last one, and it really got my motivation going again. I was ready to burn this thing to the ground here not too long ago. So, yeah, man, I appreciate it. Any of you guys have any uh, questions or need help with this, if I'm able to answer, I'll answer them. If not, I know people that can, I know people that can answer the questions. So, yeah, just let me know, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.